The church of God is judged by the is judged by people based upon the conduct of its members. See, it's very important that the members of the church are holy and that they walk holy before the world because the church is going to be judged by the conduct of the people. So if a saint is out there committing all kinds of sins and they know that they go to this church, they're going to be saying, oh, that church ain't nothing but just like any other church. There's a bunch of hypocrites in that church just like in my church, as they may say. You know, because they judge the church or the minister based upon the conduct of the people. And that's why holiness is so important. And that's why David had to bear this. Now somebody might say, well, what about the child? The child didn't do anything. That's true. But God is the giver of life and he's the taker of life. He's, he is life himself. And if he decides to do this, he can do that. He's God. We say amen. You know, so um, God says you're not going to die. But when God got finished with him, he made, made him wish that he had killed him because David had problems for the rest of his life because of this. And there are some things that we will do, we can do in our saved life that will cause us problems for the rest of our lives. One particular thing is that if the leader in the church, the pastor, falls into fornication. If the pastor falls into fornication, he will suffer for that for the rest of his life, even throughout his church. And I've seen it done. I've seen it happen. Because it's a greater sin. There are greater sins, and there are what? Lesser sins. All right? And people tell you, oh, there's no such thing. One sin is no greater than the other. They just don't know the Bible. That's all. They just don't know the Bible. So, this was a great sin. And God had to do something about it. So let's read on. So he says, the child that, shall, that is born unto thee shall surely die. Verse 15. And Nathan departed unto his house. That's the prophet. And the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bare unto David. And it was very sick. Verse 16. David therefore besought God for the child. And David fasted and went in and lay all night upon the earth. And the elders of his house arose and went to him to raise him up from the earth, but he would not, neither did he eat bread. They tried to pick him up off the floor. He wouldn't get up. Let's read on. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died, and the servants of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spake unto him, he would not hearken unto our voice. How will he then vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? Now look at David's attitude. Let's read on. But when David saw that his servants whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servant, Is the child dead? They said, He is dead. Then David arose from the earth, washed and anointed himself, changed his apparel, and came into the house of the Lord, and did what? He didn't blame God. Look at his attitude. Even though he fasted. But David realized that he was the one that put himself in that position. Let's read on. Then he came to his own house. And when he required, they set bread before him and he did eat. Then said his servants unto him, What thing is this that thou hast done? Thou didst fast and weep for the child. while it was alive. But when the child was dead, thou didst rise and eat bread. And he said, while the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept. For I said, who can tell whether God will be gracious to me that the child may live? But now he is dead. Wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? Shall I go to him? But he shall not return unto me. So that's another result of fasting. We don't ever want to get in that position. Is that right? Oh, no. Because if you get in that position, we're going to hear about it. And you, just, you will just be on the Greater Bible Way Temple wall of shame. You <laughs> say, man, because I will say, remember so-and-so, so-and-so, 
when they were saying all those things about the pastor, well, let me tell you what happened. Pray for them. Because uh, God will get you. And people don't realize that nowadays. They don't realize that, but God will get you. He doesn't want. It's not as well that any should perish, but that all should what? Come to repentance. Come to repentance. Oh, I got a ton of stories I can tell you, but we got to move on. All right. Let's go to, well, there was victory at Mizpah in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1 through 17, where they fasted and God stepped in for them. That's in 1 Samuel. We won't read it. 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1 through 17. You can write that. Victory at Mizpah. All right, they fasted and God responded. When you fast, God will respond. All right, let's go to Nehemiah, chapter number one, and verse one through 11. Nehemiah prays and fasts for repentance. Nehemiah, chapter one. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah, we might as well read all that. Let me see here. Nehemiah chapter 1. All right, is everybody there? Everybody got it? I still hear some pages turning. <laughs> All right. Now this, now these fasts we're talking about is total abstention. That's what these are. It's not the type of fast people fast today. Fruit fast, sweet fast. I'm just going to eat sweets. I ain't going to eat nothing else. And all the other kinds of stuff. I'm going to veggie fast. You know. And all we're talking about, if you want some results... You do it the Bible way. You do it the Bible way, you get Bible results. We say amen. They always talk about the Daniel fast. They don't never talk about the 21 days he didn't eat nor drink anything. That's the fast we need to be talking about. Because we went on that fast, the angel came and talked to him. When he went on that other fast, ain't no angel come talk to him. But when he got on, when he fasted for 21 days, God sent Gabriel to come down and talk to him. They don't talk too much about that. That's the Daniel fast I'm talking about. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Yes. <laughs> All right. 